Hey guys, I posted this vector off me on Instagram and was requested to make a video tutorial in Photoshop, so here it is. I'm a huge fan of Jay Sean, so I'm going to be going over this step by step using a photo of him, but you can follow this tutorial using any photo of yours. First click this create new filler icon here and select solid colour. I'm going to start with this face and already know the colour I want to use. If you don't know the hex code for it, just pick one from the colour shown. Don't worry too much about selecting the exact shade because you can change this later. Next click the layer mask thumbnail and press command and delete. Now select the pen tool from the toolbox on the left then start drawing around the area you're starting with, the face in my case. Once you're done press command and enter, this will create a selection. Then press alt and delete to colour it in. And that's your first step done. You can hide a layer by clicking the eye icon. It's handy to see the before and after. The colour of the skin looks a little too light so I'm going to change it. To do this just double tap on the existing one and use the colour picker to select the part of the photo where you want to extract the colour. Then we're going to repeat the process. Create a new fill layer. Select the thumbnail mask. Click command plus delete. You can rename the layers if you want to. It makes it easier to identify what is what, but you don't have to do this, it's just personal preference. Zooming into the photo makes it easier when using the pen tool. Press command and plus to zoom in and command and minus to zoom out. In Windows it's just control plus and control minus. So select around the hair or whichever area you want and like before press command and enter. When you're done, and alt and delete to fill it with colour. Since the hair and eyebrows are the same colour, we can use the same layer, although you may want to separate each section of the photo to its own layer. I'm going to stick to the same one. I'm going to repeat the process now for the lips. The process is exactly the same. Create a new fill layer, hit command and delete on the thumbnail mask, use your pen tool to draw around an area, make your selection by pressing command and enter and then fill it by pressing alt and delete. To make it not look so flat, I'm going to add another layer to the lips and add a darker shade. As you can tell that's made quite a difference. Moving on to the arms now, and again it's just the same steps. As you can see the arms are a little too light, so I'm going to make them slightly darker. Just double click and use the colour picker to extract a colour from the photo. To make it easier to compare your vector art to the original photo, click the background layer, then go to layer, duplicate layer, then click and drag it above all layers. Click the eye icon to show and hide it. Much better, right? Keep repeating the process for other parts of the photo. Now let's give it a background. Hide the background layer by clicking the eye icon, then go to layer, new, then layer and call it background. Then select the bucket icon from the toolbox on the left pick a colour and then click on your photo to fill it. If you find you have gaps like I have here, just go over them using the pen tool on the right coloured layer. You can also use the brush tool but I mean whatever works for you really. Ok so I've changed the background to the grey instead since it resembles the original picture much better. So the next thing you want to do is give your artwork some life and make it look less flat. To do this we're going to add some shading. This is essentially the exact same process but the colour will just be slightly darker to the layer you're applying it to. Clearly this colour is far too dark so I'm just going to lower the opacity so it appears much lighter. And there you go. Looks so much better already. Repeat this for all other areas and use the eraser tool to remove any unwanted parts. I'll just add some facial hair by creating a new layer. I'm going to select black for the colour and then use the brush tool to just dab on some stubble and then lower the opacity and it's done. Not too bad eh? You can go into as much detail as you want when working on your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech reviews, tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.